general public to have a certain deep mistrust of antiques dealers. They think falsely that we probably buy off old ladies, you know, go around and cheat them, knock on their doors and say, you know, we're in the area, we're buying stuff, and we cheat them out of their valuables. See, now, I didn't know they were Momvu. Well, they're people who can't work for anybody else, so they have to do antiques. But they're all individuals. They're all a bit crazy. They're all very eccentric. People think it's quirky. I'm, I think I'm the youngest in the entire row. Very difficult to get rabbits. Everybody loves rabbits. Much easier to get to sell a rabbit than it is to sell anything else, really, except a pig. Came down to Portobello with a suitcase one day and found a little piece on somebody's store. And just started from there. But it was, it was, it was much easier then. It was much easier. In the 60s and the 70s, it was, I suppose, it was slightly more dangerous, sort of edgy. You had a great sort of Caribbean population. You had a lot of young people, the hippies, um, and a lot of intellectuals moved there. People used to come from all over the world. They still do come, but now they come to photograph the sign that says Portobello Road. They don't come and buy anything. It's the one place left in the country where dealers get together on a Saturday morning. More than sort of half a dozen dealers actually congregate and bring a few things in. It's just not like anywhere else because you've got at least several hundred dealers dealing in everything you can imagine. From, you know, Rolex watches, ancient artefacts to modern art. I mean, there's somebody doing everything here and I can't think of anywhere else in the world like that because this has been a centre of trading for such a long time, since mid-60s. We've got all the museum curators, all the gallery owners, all the collectors make a beeline for Portobello Road on a Saturday morning. And there are some fantastic dealers here. They really are, with such a tremendous knowledge. And, you know, it's a meeting place every single week where we can talk and bounce off each other, and it's fun. And bought some objects that had made it as far as they'd started here, and I'd, re I'd remembered them here four years ago or so. And they'd moved up the chain to the biggest shows in the whole, you know, in, in most of Europe. And then they came back here, and then they were sold again. You know, so it's, it's quite amazing that, you know, at some point everything comes back to Portobello Road. I absolutely adore the place. It is, you know, it is one half of who I am. Everybody in the market has known everybody else for the last 40 years or more. And, that, that, and you know, that, that is special. This is about 2,000 years old from North China. Somebody said to me the other day, aren't you retired? You, you don't retire. You walk down the street and there's a little antique shop, you look in the window, you think, oh, that could be Mark and Period, King Long imperial bowl in there, I'll just go and check it. <laughs> and then the, it's usually a fake, but it, sometimes it might be. And there's some old collector I know, and he said, I can't come down to see you anymore because there's all these people in the street and I can't get past them. <laughs> and there's all these delightful people, I'm glad they come, but they don't actually buy any antiques. They, they come because they've seen the film, Notting Hill. Now the street is full of tourist tat. It's not like it was. I mean, these used to be proper stalls, you know, with proper old-fashioned market stalls, just dripping with stuff, proper antiques, you know. See that place there? That was um, antique stalls. I used to have a very big gallery on the corner over here, uh, but that's not possible anymore because the rents are so high and now it's a shoe shop. So a brand has taken over my old shop. I mean, it's about 3,000 pounds a week now. So we all sit down here in these little places. I am sort of concerned that it will, um, our building, where we are at the moment, will be sold when um, they get a good enough offer from Waitrose or whoever it may be. So there's another arcade going now, the 20th Century Gallery up the road's shutting in June. And I doubt very much whether they'll keep that as antiques. Because of the crowds in the road, 
the dealers don't come here very much anymore. So we're just trading at the edge of the end, I think. Not long. Two or three years, maybe, if we're lucky. We're all of an age, and we're all coming up to where, you know, we just say, this, this, is, this is it. Without realising, perhaps, that Notting Hill Gate is so expensive and it's so desirable because it does have this slightly bohemian feel to it because of the Portobello Road and the Saturday Market. It really brings an atmosphere or a vibe to the whole area. This is why it's expensive.